this is Veronica from Once Upon a Homeschooler and I'm here today just to do a quick video review of R50 States from Knotgrass. Um, I purchased the set for um, $70 that included five books and then I'll show you what I got in that set plus a couple extra books that I ordered and why I ordered them. Um, the first thing I in the set is the R50 States book. It is a textbook, rather thick, um, and as I go through the beginning here, it shows you a map of the United States divided by region. And then we get into the table of contents. It is divided into 26 units with two lessons per state, four lessons per unit. So two state or two states per unit. Um, and then it does have the two extra on Washington, D.C. And then the two extra on the U.S. territories. As you go through the book here, it just has a little note to the parents. Um, how to use the books and then it tells you about the extra books the song selections how to you access those the atlas workbook um i have this one here it is a book that you will be your child will be looking at coloring in and so on and so forth so i did get an extra book for a second student that book cost me an extra 12 dollars, but it is rather a thick book with lots of things to color lots of pictures and stuff like that the next book here is the lesson review which is this one here it has lines for your child to write on so i did get a second one of those here for a second child this one cost me five dollars so it's seventy dollars plus twelve plus five for this set for two children so i thought that was really reasonable and then the last book here is the literature guide and answer key so i have one of those that came with the set and then here it has literature selections which i did not get because i forgot i have been sick you can probably hear it in my voice still and i totally forgot to go ahead and order these i was going to order them one at a time and i know this one is an hbld from sunlight and i was going to check those and i totally forgot until just right now so how much time will each lesson take i will walk you through a couple lessons really fast but i would guess it will take you about five minutes to do the reading maybe another five minutes for the workbook and then 10 to 15 minutes for the read aloud most days. And then there are some activities that you can pick and choose from. Um, and we don't usually do too many of those activities unless they're easy and fast. And this is just kind of a sample walkthrough, but I'm going to walk you through a lesson anyways. So we're going to start here with unit one, New England, Maine, and New Hampshire, and we'll just do the main sections. Um, here at the beginning, it tells you about Maine. It tells you just a little bit about the trees um a factory some potatoes wild blueberries lobsters one of the national parks as you can see these are very very short it goes through it very very briefly and the state capital and it always ends with the bible verse and then the activities illustrate the geographic term for maine and the atlas workbook on page four so if i turn to this page on page four it is going to have us Learn, this is the page for Maine, page, I'm trying to see here, page four, yes. And this is the page for Maine. It's going to have us write the word coast on the on the line. And then it's going to tell us a little bit about the coast. And then it wants us to maybe add a lighthouse or a sailboat or decorate this picture and then color it. So that'll take you a couple minutes. The next activity is if you're using the lesson review, answer the questions for Maine, or the literature review, sorry, lesson review. Answer the questions for Maine. And, um on page one so I'm just gonna to turn to page one and it is gonna ask me five questions about Maine just from what I just read um, and then read chapter one of Rabbit Hill and it does uh, so you're gonna read that and like I said I forgot to purchase the book so I don't have it and then you're gonna answer the questions on page 15 so this is basically it there aren't really many much in the way of questions it does tell you some more trigger warnings or um, things that you might want to watch out for as you read the book and that's pretty much it and then it gets into the next book right away and then hands-on activities pretend to be statues who or what does your statue represent and then the family activity for the unit is make blueberry muffins recipe on page 18 so if i turn to page 18 it'll give me a recipe about blueberry muffins um so that will be it for the entire first lesson now if we turn to the second lesson also on Maine we're going to have a song and it does tell us in the beginning how to download that song and access it 
And then it tells us a story about a girl named Mary whose grandparents live on the island, on an island, and how she visits them and different things that happen and she sees and discovers during her trip. Then we, of course, we end with our Bible verse. And then they want us to complete the map activities for Maine on the Atlas Workbook on page 5. And that will be this page here. I'm trying to zoom in and trying to get it to show up. But it says, look at the state flag, flag, which is this, the bird, and the tree of Maine on this page. The white pine cone and tassel is the state flower of Maine. Now it says color Maine orange on the map on pages two to three. So on this map here, we're just gonna color the state of Maine orange, kind of like to match the map at the beginning of the other book. And then color the star that marks Augusta, the capital of Maine, yellow. So that will be here. Draw waves in the Atlantic Ocean. Almost half of Maine's potatoes become french fries. Color the potatoes brown. Trees cover most of Maine. Color the tree. Wild blueberries grow throughout Maine. Color the blueberries. And then color the lobster Mary caught in her trap on Boone Island. So that will be it for this. And then if I turn to the next page, it will be New Hampshire already. Um, so that will be that then read chapter two in rabbit hill now that you have read what it's like for mary to visit her grandparents on boot island many years ago think about what it is like when you visit your grandparents or other relatives what do you eat how do you play how is the place where they live different from where you live and if you are keeping a creative writing notebook write a detailed description of what it is like to visit those relatives we would normally just do this orally instead of writing it down because my children i try to save the writing for when it really counts because they would rather not unless it's something they thought of themselves um, so that's pretty much it as you go through the book. It's just going to be more of the same. There's a chapter about New Hampshire and then a song and story from New Hampshire and then more activities. And then at the end of the unit, there is the one activity that they selected for the family activity. And that's pretty much it for the book. You're just going to repeat that. Just kind of giving you a quick page through, but just kind of repeat that as you go through. And, and... I guess that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you and have a blessed week.